Hello, Sabine and Devonte. Uh, welcome to this little recording podcast um, for IBMZ Systems Student Ambassador Program. Um, we're very excited to have you here today to talk about something that you've done recently, um, which is creating a an event, um, but from two different countries. You guys are from across the world. One is in Bahrain, part of time, and then uh, one is in the United States. So today we really want to dive into how that experience was for you both and to really see, you know, what components had to come in play for this to be an ex- a successful experience and and really just get your reflections and kind of inspirations from that because I think it's um it's a really cool concept uh when you can master it to be able to connect across the globe um and also you two have been such instrumental part of the IBMZ system student ambassador program um so to kind of get to know more about you guys your skill sets uh, I think is really cool. Um, so without out of further ado, I'd love to maybe just get you guys to start by introducing yourselves a little bit, just about what, um, what you study, where you're at, and um, what university you are from. So maybe I'll start with you, Sabine. Hello, Rachel. Uh, well, my name is Sabina. I uh, study Bachelor of Computer Science at the Fern University Tang, which is a German distance learning university. Um, I am actually from Austria, but as I mentioned, I currently live in Bahrain and I'm with the IBM program now for three years, uh, which was a really exciting time. A lot of learning, uh, a lot of skills gained, uh, really awesome. I love that. Devonte. Hi everyone. My name is Devonte Hawkins. I am a senior computer science major at Albany State University, which is a for you university in um in Albany, Georgia. And um uh I'll be getting my bachelor's in computer science on May 6th. So I'm really excited about that. And I've been an IBM Z Systems Ambassador Captain going on three years now. And um and I'll and I'll be joining IBM full time as a tech sales engineer in August. I absolutely love it. And I almost forgot to mention Devante is going to work for IBM, like you just mentioned, and then Sabine is a IBM champion. So both have really shown in uh, your impact and made a mark in this um, in the IBM world. So it's awesome. And um, so the first question I kind of want to get into, you know, since we're talking about an event, is what was this event about? Who wants to take it? Um, I can take it. Um, well, the title of the event was uh, All Roads Lead to the Mainframe. Uh, so we were looking at the different ways how one can uh, educate him or herself uh, on about the mainframe. So we're looking to see, explore, into uh, into scale uh, the digital batches, into university programs, and also the Academic Mainframe Consortium. Wow, that's incredible. It, it all roads lead to mainframe. I love it. Um, now, you guys have spoken about the success of this event. Uh, what made this event successful to you both? Um, I can go first on this one. So I think that it was just that, you know, obviously me and Sabine, you know, worked together before. And, um, and I think that, you know, we uh, we just worked really well together. We we, um, we bounced ideas off each other. We came up with questions for the panelists. And we really wanted to make it like an all-stop shop for people that, um, for people, you know, new to mainframes, but then also been doing this for years. But just um, to just sort of share their experience about mainframes and how they um, and how they upskilled and, and growed with mainframes, you know, um, you know, whether um, whether it was through IBM's Explorer or Interskill or through, you know, the university curriculum. Um, at the end of the day, we really, um, at, well, I believe that we really succeeded on, on, um, on driving that point home in, in terms of like, how can we, how can we create this amazing event with, um, with people young and old to mainframes and make it, you know, really successful. And, um, and I, and, and, you know, I just want to applaud, you know, Yusuf Dean for being, you know, a great partner because we really worked well together and, um, yeah, we delivered a great event. Awesome. So then did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, can emphasize what uh, Devante just said. Uh, I mean, it was great, the cooperation, although we were in completely different parts of the world uh, with 
technology nowadays that doesn't matter. Uh, so it was really easy to work with um, to get that together. And I, I really loved as well that we had something for everyone. Uh, I mean, we had people uh, contacting us for, I want to be a set systems uh, ambassador. Uh, we had mainframers saying, oh, I never heard something about the Sea Explorer. That's a perfect way to, to learn more students. Um, and what I also loved was we had seasoned mainframers joining us as well, and they supported us big time in the chat as well, also giving tips. So not only the panelists, but also the experienced mainframers. So it was really everyone getting together, uh, sharing information. Uh, that was really a great experience. That is actually incredible. And it's a great segue into kind of the next question that I have, which you've mentioned it's easy because of technology doing this event from different parts of the world. But what are some of the other potential struggles and perks of doing an international virtual event in general, do you think? Uh, I think uh, the perks is uh, with online events, uh, as mentioned, uh, it doesn't matter where you're sitting. Uh, you can just do it from anywhere. Uh, the challenge is being international, I would say definitely the time zones, uh, because it, when you coordinate the times, uh, then something gets messed up. Uh, it was also the time of the time, uh, summertime change, which adds more difficulty to it. <laughs> so. That that is really a big challenge. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just to kind of. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So so just to kind of echo off, um, echo off of Sabine point, the time zones, um, was a bit of a challenge because it was normally like, um, like when Sabine, it was probably like night her time. It was like afternoon my time, and I was still in class. So um, but yeah, but I will say the time zones was a bit difficult, but I believe that you know with everything. Um, everything just sort of lines up at like the perfect timing. So we, um, so we eventually did find, you know, a good time to meet and, um, and talk about the event. And, and I would say one of the perks was that it was just, um, it was just seeing like all of like the intrigue leading up to the event with, um, with so many IBM champions and also ambassadors, just like resharing about it, letting the, um, letting people know and, and, um, and, and, you know, just creating like that great turnout that, um, that, you know, we expect it. Um, but you know, it was, you know, even though, even though that we are in like two completely different countries, we still came together in the day and, and, um, and, you know, put our heads together and, and came up with something great. Yeah. And there were a lot of people as well asking for the recording afterwards. Uh, so we linked into the global student hub, uh, it's, it's on the Z systems ambassador YouTube channel. So people are watching it, uh, revisiting it, getting all the tips from there. Uh, so that's a um, perfect platform as well there. I absolutely love it. Um, definitely understand the struggle of the time zone differences with the daylight saving change when people are going on and off it. It's like, oh, oh, which one? Um, <laughs> and actually a quick tip on Google Calendar, it will adjust based on who's the organizer of the event. So if I had a weekly event in general or an event organized for five o'clock but then my time went backwards it would stay at five o'clock for me but it would change for all of you um so just a nice little tip in there um so then with that what was the feedback that you've received after the event you've kind of talked about this already was there any other additional feedback that you kind of wanted to talk about like how did you keep the conversation going after and that momentum well, um, I would say that after the event, I got a lot of LinkedIn messages, um, you know, asking for like different links to things and different sources um, about mainframes that people can um, can get involved with. And um, and then also there was there was a very interesting discussion on um, I think it was Java versus COBOL about which one is like, you know, more popular in the mainframe. And um, I reached out by someone who wants us to actually, you know, host that event as well in terms of like, um, in terms of like already planning like our next event steps. And, um, and I think that, you know, just like, just like, you know, hearing all the positive messages and people being curious and wanting to learn more. I think that, I think that it's one of the great values of being a Z system ambassador is that, um, is that you have people wanting to learn more um, after, um, after hearing about it for probably like the first time. So I think it's just like the feedback and the intrigue from our event um, was just, was just amazing. 
I, yeah, I was also I was contacted by an IBM uh, chief architect and oh I heard about your event and this and that and uh, maybe you have some contacts of uh, young mainframers of junior engineers uh, I would like to get in touch with to get the, their opinions their pain points so it was it also led to connecting students uh, connecting young mainframers with experienced people uh, so they can learn from each other which was also great. Wow. I love hearing all this. It's, it, it is actually awesome. Uh, and then one final question that I have is what did you learn from doing the event, both technically and non-technically? Well, from my side, technically, um, I would have loved to live stream it on LinkedIn as well. And I learned that uh, once you set up an event uh, on LinkedIn, uh, you cannot change the mode anymore. So if you want to live stream, you have to decide on it once you publish, but you cannot change that after. So for the next event, I need to set it up right away. <laughs> Interesting. Um, um, I would say for me is that um, it definitely, it definitely um, is, is challenging putting on a technical event especially with people, you know, in different countries and different time zones. And, um, and actually, like at the start of the event, um, my Zoom app crashed on my computer. So I had to log in on like my web browser. And, um, and I think that, you know, just like, just like being prepared for like the unexpected can, um, can actually, you know, be beneficial. So luckily, I had to, um, I already had the link load up in my computer. So all I had to do is just click on it and log in. But, um, but, you know, I think that, um, I think that this is, um, well, well, there's like this really old saying, like, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. So I would say, you know, just um, just be prepared for that, whether it's like technical or in person, and you're just doing something on your computer, you know, um, you know, just just make sure that um, that you have like everything backed up and saved. And, um, and yeah, and then also, um, one thing that I learned is that, um, is that, you know, no matter, no matter the skill set or the age gap, everyone knows something and even during this event I was just learning so many new things about all the different skills that I can use to grow my mainframe skills and it was just like you know really special as like the host but then also I kind of felt like an audience member at um at, at points in the um during the event too it's like wow you know I gotta take note of this I gotta um I gotta you know remember to go back to this website go back to the source and um and yeah I think that you know just just seeing that from like two different lenses was just like you know so amazing Oh, that is incredible. It's, a, it's such a cool space right now to hear the feedback. Um, and I love to see your continue, continual impact um, that you, you make and the impact you're going to continue to make. Um, well, that is all the questions that I have for you guys. Um, is there any other thoughts or um, advice that you have for other ambassadors and other young people who are looking to do an event with different time zones and different countries involved. Um, I would say from my side, just uh, don't be afraid to do it. Uh, you have a great backup. Uh, you have a very good community here. Uh, people who are always trying to help out. Um, so don't be afraid just to, uh, just to go for it. Um, because like Devonta said, there is always something you can learn as well. Uh, nobody is expecting you to know everything um, and uh, yeah just do it have a great learning experience have a good time with it yeah um, yeah you know just to echo up off Sabine is that you know don't be afraid to reach out to you know other um, other ambassadors other you know um, um, IBM champions or, um, or you know just people just people in the mainframe industry you know um, one thing one thing that I've learned throughout this entire journey is that um, is that, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out. And then also most of the time they will say yes. So, um, so, you know, just, um, you know, just don't be afraid to reach out and then also have fun with it. You know, that's, um, that's one of the big important things is like to have fun. And, um, and, and just like Sabine said, you don't have to know everything. Um, but, um, but you can also learn, um, we'll, we'll, we'll learn more about yourself in the process. And then also, learn more about you know mainframes and growing your skills so so you know you don't you don't have to be a genius at planning an event or um or knowing about mainframes to host an event because 
throughout the process, you know, um, you know, you would learn a lot about yourself and, and, um, and what you're capable of doing. No, I love that. Thank you so much, both of you for coming here today and speaking about the, your event and the, the, the learnings of it and then giving that advice back. I think you're right. It's, by doing that you can learn the most sometimes and understand you know about yourself more and so next time you do it you're going to get even better um so thank you for coming and speaking about your event around all things lead to mainframe ibmz systems and uh, mainframe technology i think is a really unique and yet necessary technology for running so many businesses around the world and things that we do every day. Um, so it's cool that we have ambassadors like you that can help uh, elevate that voice of IBM Z systems while also elevating your career trajectories and your skill sets, both technically and non-technically. So thank you so much for being here today. Um, and we look forward to hearing the feedback from whoever watches this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you.